Hello everyone. In this video, let us see the next type of biasing that is voltage divider bias. This voltage divider bias is most widely used biasing circuit. This biasing technique provides more stabilization to the transistor which is operating as an amplifier. So this voltage divider bias is very important concept and here you can see the circuit of voltage divider bias. This is an NPN transistor. So this NPN transistor need to be biased to operate as an amplifier. So for biasing, as we know, we need to keep this base emitter junction forward biased and collector to base junction reverse biased. In the previous biasing methods, fixed bias and collector to base bias, we will be having a resistor at the base terminal. Now replacing the resistor at the base, we will be having two resistors R1 and R2 making the voltage divider circuit here. That's why the name has given as voltage divider bias. So before going to how actually the biasing method here is, we need to understand the voltage divider rule. So let us see this circuit. Here we have, will be having VCC and it is connected to R1 and then we will be having a series resistor R2. Suppose if we need to calculate or if we need to find out the voltage across R1 and R2, here we need to apply the voltage divider rule. Suppose we need to find out the voltage across R1 means if it is V1 equal to R1 divided by total resistance that is R1 plus R2 into VCC. Means in this series resistor, the one end is connected to VCC, other end is connected to ground. The voltage is divided for across R1 and voltage drop across R2. So to find out V1 across R1, we need to take R1 in the numerator divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2 into the supply voltage VCC. Similarly, to find out the voltage across R2, we need to take R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VCC. So this voltage divider rule applies here in between R1, R2 and VCC so that we can make this base emitter junction forward biased. So in this circuit, suppose if we take this as point B since it is a base, so here we need to apply the voltage divider rule. VB we need to find out. VB is equal to, since this is VB, VB is the voltage at this point with respect to, this is the ground terminal. Here R2 divided by total resistance R1 plus R2 into VCC. VCC is connected over here. So this is the voltage we are getting at base terminal and this positive voltage from the base making this base emitter junction forward biased. If you write this VB in terms of VBE and VE, it will be like VBE from base to emitter terminal. From emitter to ground terminal, we will be having VE. So this is my VB. So the total VB is equal to VBE plus VE across this RE. And here VE can be written as IE is the current flowing out of the emitter through resistor RE. So the voltage drop across RE that is VE is equal to IE into RE. And here VB can be written as by using this VE term here, VB becomes VBE plus IE into RE. And now from this expression, we can write the expression for the current flowing through the emitter IE. IE will be VB minus VBE divided by RE. Just rearranging the expressions to get the expression for IE. And we know that in the transistor, the total current IE will be equal to IB plus IC. Here IB is very small, always we can treat IC is nearly equal to IE. So if we consider this IE is nearly equal to IC, we can get the expression for output current IC. That is again same as VB minus VBE divided by RE. This is how we can get the expression for IC. Here we, we can see there is no dependency of beta for IC. This makes the circuit more stable. Similarly, we need to find out VCE expression now. To get the expression for VCE, we need to apply KVL. So applying KVL to collector and emitter terminals starting from VCC, it will be VCC from this point it is VCC 
and here is the voltage drop across RC that is ICRC. So VCC minus ICRC. Here we will be having the voltage across collector to emitter terminal that is VCE minus VE is equal to 0. From this expression, rearrange to get the expression for VCE. VCE is equal to VCC minus ICRC minus IERE. Here we can say again IC will be nearly equal to almost equal to IE. So we are taking this IE as IC, taking IC out RC plus RE. So this is the final expression for VCE. VC will be equal to VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. So this VC is the DC output voltage and IC we have find out. So we need to find the operating point by fixing VCE and IC in this way. This is all about the voltage divider biasing. Here we need to remember that R1, R2 making the voltage divider circuit for fixing this VB. Thank you.